hard not for me to look forward on this trip to, you know, getting to New York. Anytime you roll into New York City, um, you know, you get those chills. All right, guys, look. We're in New York City. This is my town. This is where I live. Why don't we relax a little bit? We've been grinding for four days, right? Everybody agree? Yeah. So let's get some good food. One of the best restaurants in the city, Red Rooster Harlem. From one of the best chefs in the world, Marcus Samuelson, who happens to be a friend of mine and a huge NBA fan. Hold on. Let me get that. Yeah. Oh. Marcus Samuelson says, he's dropped hey, he it right down there. It works. <laughs> I said, that's a good name to drop. I should see how many times I've dropped Rick Fox. All right, let's go. <laughs> your childhood in Sweden. When did you become an NBA fan? When you live outside America, you gravitate towards a culture that you want to relate to, and you might not quite understand it. Looking at someone like Magic as a kid, and getting that first Magic shirt, uh, shirt you know what I mean? The 32, the old school Lakers, so it's not even comfortable, you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> going, you know, it's the rough material. Yeah, rough material. And I'm like, should I wear a t-shirt underneath? I should I rock this? And then Michael, you know, just taking over. And it was hard for me to see Michael take over that, like, just rip it. I was like, give him at least one more, you know, it's hard. I didn't, you know, I was upset with Michael for a long time. Insanity was the most exciting. That's the most I felt this city. Like, yeah. Remember, like You're right. every day, like people were like, "What did Jeremy Lin do last night?" You know, but that was about yeah. a two-week run. Right? I was gonna say yeah. it only lasted so short. It was a really quick. But I think that said so many other things. You know, it wasn't it wasn't skill-based. It was also race-based. The yeah. fact that it was an Asian dude, and that opened up the door to China. Right. It also showed that the game of basketball is today is rivaling soccer as the number one sport right. in the world. Right. right? Yeah. We could probably talk to you all night, but <laughs> yeah, we, could. we got a bus to get on. Yeah, you got to go do the tour. Before we let you go, are the Knicks going to make the playoffs this year? I hope so, yes. Knicks will definitely make the playoffs this year. <laughs> Even from I hope so to definitely think, pretty quick. I think, I think we're grabbing the five or the six spot. Wow. I think it's a five or the six I spot. I you guys at the six.